take steps to end quackery as legal backing for the prohibition passes second reading. Nigerians react to killings in the country, suggest ways to end the threat. Plus, all progressives Congress, Cross River State commences second phase of mobilization for the collection of permanent voters' card. Details shortly. Good evening and welcome to you. I am Cecilia Julius. Now to the rest of the news. A legislation seeking to provide a legal backing for the prohibition of quackery of all forms, especially in the medical profession, has passed second reading in the Cross River State House of Assembly. This is just as the sponsor of the bill titled Cross River State Quackery Prohibition Bill 2022 and member representing Abbey constituency, Davis Etan, expresses hope that the bill, when institutionalized, will streamline healthcare services. Justina Ethan reports. The sponsor of the bill observes that about 50% of those providing medical services in the country are unqualified, while quackery can also be found among professionals. And so he advocates that a task force be set up and empowered to checkmate the trend. Well, we have women that are traditional men they do a good job of work, and I, I commend them for what they do. Because it is not a real community in the state that has a health center for the health post. And this is where I the various rural areas carry out. This consists to ensure that these persons are fully trained by the relevant authorities so that they do their work, they do their work in short. Other members lend their voices in support of the bill. He said, look at this school, help to expose these quacks. We will not just try to sensitize our people. He did feel the past of the law. Sensitize a lot of them in knowing that these quacks have been as deep. And they, and correct so many things. And they, I was able to put to rest the issue of fake and untreated drugs. This bill has been committed to the Committee of the House a legislation titled Cross River State's Child Rights Repeal and Enactment Bill 2022, sponsored by the member representing Yaka One constituency, Nelson Ofem, also passed second reading. A child deserves a life. From the future stage to when they are born and they are growing up until maybe when they will be almost 18 years. We have a responsibility, like I did say, to provide in the law that framework that will present our children in life and age. The House of Assembly advocates robust engagement of the public before the bills are passed into law. In Calabar, Justina Etam, NTA News. In order to achieve a successful demographic data exercise in the state, the National Population Census, Cross River State, is soliciting support of the Nigeria police force in the area of adequate security in the demarcated areas of operation. Erika Evi reports. The trial census preparatory to the 2023 general census is slated from 11th of this month to ensure a huge free exercise in the ninth local government areas selected in Cross River State. The State Commissioner for National Population Commission, Charles Ogwa, is conversing for security protection for personnel that will involved in the trial census for a credible and reliable exercise in all the demarcated areas of operation. Demographic data is the mother and father of all data you think of because it gives everything about the country, the people in the country. It gives everything about governance. You can imagine in the last census, 2006, maybe in some communities there were just five zinc houses. And the rate of development now in fact, there are some communities you go to, you will not even know the, when you, where you lived before. So they are now going to do fresh listing of the houses. The State Police Commissioner Amino Al-Azan said since the trial census is a national assignment, 
which will assist Nigerian government for better planning for its people providing needed security support for the success of the exercise is necessary. When you deploy your staff to all the senatorial districts, we will ensure that adequate protection is given to them 24 hours. Meanwhile, the National Population Commission has concluded the training of 90 enumerators and nine supervisors for the trial census in Cross River States in Calabar, Erika EV, NTA News. Now to security. The scale of insecurity, especially killings, have threatened the nation's democracy now that Nigeria is preparing for the 2023 general elections. Hence, massive youth employment and engagement have been identified as means to check the trend, even as concerned Nigerians are calling for the strengthening of security architecture of the country for the needed peace to thrive. Udwak Ethan has more. Nigeria has experienced an upsurge in violence, kidnapping and killings by bandits, unknown gunmen and terrorists in recent times, as reported across the entire country, making citizens to live in fear. These rising cases of insecurity has become worrisome, as concerned Nigerians in Calabar call on the government to restore the economy, create jobs for the youths, improve security, thereby ensuring citizens' sense of protection. Most youths are idle. So in my own uh, perspective, I think the government should engage them. Create an enabling environment so that uh, the youth can even engage themselves. The youth, if the government have given them work on what to do, I think they can be tackled a bit to a bare minimum. For us, the youth, to think wisely in electing somebody that will, one, eradicate this uh, unemployment, then also to put this in place for a better Nigeria. For the Cross River State Police Command, adequate security measures have been put in place for the protection of lives. Police is working assiduously to make sure crime in the state is being reduced. We have our tactical teams that is helping to fight crime. The police is doing a lot. We are not relenting at all. Respondents, however, expressed optimism that when credible candidates emerge in the 2023 general elections, the nation will be made to regain its peaceful status. In Calabar, Udwak Etam, NTA News. A break now. The news continues shortly. <laughs> Welcome back. It's good to know you are still watching. Now to the rest of the news. All Progressives Congress, Cross River State, is set to commence second phase of political sensitization and enlightenment on permanent voters' card collection across the 3,281 polling units of Cross River State. State Chairman APC Alfonso Egba said this while briefing journalists on current state of party affairs in Calabar, Maureen Liu Ajon reports. Acknowledging the challenges associated with the collection of permanent voter cards in the state, the APC state chairman charged party leaders across the state to return to their polling units and ensure electorate get registered and collect PVCs ahead of the 2023 general elections. This message is a charge to all political leaders to return back to their words. And we have directed every last Saturday of the month, you must hold polling unit management committee meeting in your polling unit. Every last Sunday of the, of the month, you must hold your ward stakeholders meeting and report to us. He reiterated the essence of the APC ensuring that power returns to the southern senatorial district of the state, noting that the APC has justified the promise made to the people of Cross River State while assuring party faithful that
that efforts are ongoing to reconcile aggrieved members. I am pleased to announce that APC is the only party in Cross River State that has chosen to follow the law of nature. By the special grace of God, the next governor of Cross River State shall not only come from our party, but he shall come from the Southern Senatorial District in person of Senator Prince Basi Eded Utu, who is our candidate and whose name has been forwarded to INEC and it has since been uploaded into the data. The APC state chairman says the economy of Cross River State is about to witness a turnaround with the birthing of a larger vessel at the Calabar port. The NPA managing director was here and he has assured us that all the legal hurdles that have tied her down will be unlocked. So we hope that the dredging of Calabar port that will bring even mother ships in, in here is already opened. Mr. Eba reiterated the commitment of the APC to remain in government house and continue to render good governance to the citizenry. In Calabar, Maureen Liu Ajom, NTA News. That's the size of our package for tonight. But before we go, a recap of major stories. Cross River State House of Assembly has taken steps to end quackery as legal backing for the prohibition past second reading in the floor of the House. Nigerians have reacted to killings in the country and suggested ways to end the trend. It was also in the news that the All Progressives Congress, Cross River State, has commenced the second phase of mobilization for the collection of permanent voters' cards ahead of the 2023 general election. That is all we have for tonight. I am Cecilia Julius. Good night.